Hello everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at the iPhone 13 and compare it against the iPhone XR and pretty much see which specific phone is the better one. Now, the iPhone 13 clearly is the better one in pretty much every single area, but it's still very interesting to see how they've both been holding up. At least the 13 has been about a year old now, so... Let's go and see how they compare. If you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there. You can help support the channel at the same time. Now, side by side, you can kind of see that both of them have a little bit of a different layout, but kind of the same thing. The iPhone XR has a 6.1 inch IPS panel. From the iPhone 13, you're getting an IPS panel and you're getting a bigger notch and a little bit of a thicker bezel around the phone. But I still think it's a pretty good phone overall. The design is kind of the same, but it's not necessarily apples to apples here. You're getting obviously a low resolution display. I don't think the display is as good, obviously, as the iPhone 13, but this is a much cheaper phone now. This phone came out in 2018, so it's it's kind of expected this thing to not completely hold up against something like an iPhone 13 and you would expect the iPhone 13 to be a better you know performing phone in that area. This thing has a 6.1 inch Beretta XDR OLED panel and this is a beautiful panel. It doesn't have promotion neither one of these do but this is still a really good screen that I think is much better than something like the iPhone XR. You're also having a little bit of a smaller notch on the iPhone 13 as well, which is really cool. And on top of that, on both these phones, you do have a little bit of a different layout. So the 13, as you can see, has that flat side to it. The iPhone XR has that standard curved side. I don't know if one is way better than the other one. I will definitely tell you the flat side feels more premium and there is a little bit of an advantage. It makes the phone feel a little bit thinner, but at least thinner in terms of like more compact, but the 10R still feels very good. I mean, both these phones are very relatively the same. On the back, we have a little bit of an interesting layout. So both of them have glass backs, the same type of glass back, but we do have a single camera setup on the iPhone 10R, and we have a dual camera setup on the iPhone 13. So we have that ultra wide and you know wide angle lens on the 13, and the lenses are bigger on the 13 as well. The 10R, on the other hand, just that standard wide angle lens. I don't really know if one again has a bigger advantage over the other one. I mean, the 13 is definitely better, but the 10R's camera is still decent for it being you know about four years old at the, as you know as of this point. Now both them has wireless charging which is great but the IP certification as well and that kind of covers it up on the outside now a big thing between both these is with these software updates with something like the iPhone 10R this phone came out in 2018 so realistically speaking this phone is not going to be lasting as long as the iPhone 13 in fact I'm pretty sure the 10R is probably going to start ending off maybe with iOS 17 or iOS 18 the iPhone 13 is relatively probably going to be here for probably the next five to six years. So this phone, if you want a longer lasting phone, then this is definitely the better way to go on the 13. If you want to buy a phone for like two years, the 10R is probably fine. But if you want to buy a phone that's going to be here for a long period of time, the iPhone 13 is definitely the better way to go. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. Both of these are on iOS 16 as well. The iPhone 13 has that Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone XR has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the fast one between both of these. Okay, there we go. As you can see, all the apps are cleared out in the background, so let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. 13 is here, 10 is here. Let's go and hop out here. Let's go and get into music, which I don't have. Settings, 3, 2, 1. Okay, kind of the same thing. Mail, 3, 2, 1, 13, as you can see, was the faster one there. Hopping out of this one, it's going into photos, 3, 2, 1. I think the 13 was the faster one there as well. So many pop-ups on iOS. It's going to do cameras, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 13 was actually faster to kind of load that one up there. Taking the photo, you can see longer on the 10R. And even clicking into the photo was a little bit longer on the iPhone uh, 10R as well. So maybe that's one thing to keep in mind. Hopping out of this one, let's go into their app stores, 3, 2, 1. And you can see again, the iPhone 10R was a little bit slower. So this is kind of what we expect. We want the newer phone to be faster and we want it to be faster every single time. And so far it's been pretty much that. So that's good. But also I think the iPhone 10R is doing a decent job. It's not like super slow. Now let's go and get into something like Snapchat 321. I think I'm logged in here. And I am so, and even still, it took longer on the iPhone 10 which is interesting. Let's go and get into something like Genshin Impact. This is a pretty big game, 321. Now with something like Genshin Impact, this is probably one of the bigger games that you can download on iOS. So theoretically speaking, the load time should be big, and this should be a humongous indicator of probably which one is the faster one when it comes down. So you can see the 10, uh, the 13 was able to load into it pretty much immediately, not immediately, but much faster than something like the 10R. 
the tenor is still loading into it and this is going to be kind of a precedent on the graphic capability as well you know the iphone 13 is going to be able to play that game at higher levels than something like the iphone 10r so that's probably another thing to keep in mind as well now in terms of like subway surfers let's try this out three two one Even getting into this screen was faster on the iPhone 13, which is really, really good. And you can see we're into it on the 13, the 10R. Was still stuck on that loading panel. I'm not too sure what was going on there. I played this game pretty much the same on both phones. So it's very interesting that pop-up even came up in the first place. Now we can try Call of Duty Mobile 321. Again, this is a pretty big game. So it should take a little bit of time for both, at least getting into the you know loading panel like this one. And you can see it did you know, pretty much come faster on the iPhone 13. So as I mentioned before, this is probably going to be a reoccurring trend, which is really nice. Now, if we want to load into something like maybe like Temple Run, which I don't have, but like maybe Fruit Ninja or something, we can try loading into this one and seeing what the differences are. But it doesn't even look like I have Temple Run here, or I don't have Fruit Ninja. So, or actually do three, two, one. And even getting into the half break panel was so much faster on the iPhone 13, but this is actually Fruit Ninja 2, which I didn't even know there was a Fruit Ninja 2. So I will definitely tell you when it comes down to it, the iPhone 13 is by far the faster one pretty much every single time, which is really good. You want the latest phone to be faster. I think though the iPhone 10 XR still did pretty good. It came at exactly what I was expecting, but definitely the iPhone 13 is by far the faster one. So that covers it up there. Now in terms of the cameras, like I mentioned before, a little bit of a different setup. The iPhone 13 has that wide and ultra wide sensor, where the iPhone 10R has a single wide angle lens. So you are definitely getting a better camera setup on something like the iPhone 13. But the 10R, I mean, this was a somewhat budget phone of 2018. And I will definitely tell you, I mean, for it being a 2018 phone, it doesn't have the best camera. I don't really think the 10S and 10S Max either like had crazy good cameras at that time. But for it having 4K at 60 on the back and having 1080p at 60 on the front, it's actually pretty nice, and I still think that's a really good advantage of a phone like this. Now, if you're trying to go ahead and zoom in and zoom out a lot, you're not really going to be getting that on this phone, mostly because this is a device that is pretty much limited in terms of not the features, but just in terms of the hardware. It doesn't really have the latest and greatest camera hardware. I mean, 4K 60 is really good. I like that, but there's only a single wide-angle lens. On the iPhone 13, you can see we have a wide and an ultra-wide sensor, which is a really nice touch. Having that ability of being able to zoom in and zoom out a lot is really awesome and unfortunately we don't really get that capability on something like you know the iphone 13 if i'm being honest or on the iphone 10r but the 13 does have that capability now we don't have the ability of zooming in a lot but we don't really have it on the 10r we still have you know 5x zoom but we don't have 10x zoom like on the iphone you know 13 pro for example but we still have that 0.5x zoom which is that ultra wide sensor allowing us to zoom out a lot and that is a really cool thing and that is something i really do like on this type of phone so so when it comes down to it, I will definitely tell you the iPhone 13 is by far the better camera when it comes down to it. And it's also by far the better phone. I mean, the iPhone 13 is a better phone in pretty much every single area. In terms of battery life, in terms of display, in terms of build quality, in terms of performance, in terms of software longevity, in terms of pretty much everything, this is going to be the phone for you that's going to last for a very long amount of time. But I do think if you're trying to find the best value per dollar, really the main advantage of something like the iPhone 10R is the price tag. This thing is not going to be costing that much at least compared to the iPhone 13. So that is pretty much the main advantage of buying a phone like this. You don't necessarily have to spend crazy amounts of money. You can just spend a little bit of money, you know, maybe like 250, 300 on this phone, and this phone will probably give you a better value per dollar. But I still think the 13 is a better phone still, you know, a few about a year later here and 4 years later here, but this phone is held up very well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Swoodland.